Very varied. I was pleased when I started walking around and seeing what everyone was bringing. It's a, a sampling of their menu items, and so it's the best of the best. Downtown restaurants come together to help the relief efforts in Haiti. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Kreisen. People headed downtown today for a good cause, with checkbooks and appetites in tow. Aaron Leedy explains. The Lar House Atrium was full of hungry people today, sampling a variety of cuisine from 16 local restaurants and pubs, all for a good cause, of course. Today's Restaurants to the Rescue was all about raising money for Haitian relief. Event coordinator and owner of Bistro 501, Gabrielle Mayer, says they didn't have a specific goal in mind, but hopes they would still exceed previous ones. We did one for Tsunami, and we did one for Katrina. Tsunami, we raised about $3,000, I believe, that we donated to the Red Cross, so we're hoping to at least get close to that. Anything helps, though, so we're, we don't want to put a dollar figure on it just yet. A $20 donation was suggested at the door. Mayor says today's money is actually going to a charity called UNICEF, a group currently on the front lines in Haiti. UNICEF is an organization they have right on the ground in Haiti right now. Uh, all the money goes for the children of Haiti. We just chose that. You know, there's so many different organizations that we could donate to that we just sort of had to narrow it down. So we narrowed it down to that one. Owner of Snow Bear Custard in West Lafayette, Rick Lottie, traveled to Haiti almost 30 years ago. He says even then the situation in Haiti was bad. Lottie says he and others are glad to help a country that desperately needs it. I just asked her, how can I help? And that's what the other restaurant people have done. We all want to help. We're local people, and we're here to be part of the community. Well, not only does today's event help the people in Haiti, it also gives people a chance to experience some of the restaurants that downtown Lafayette has to offer. This is what these people do. They're in the hospitality industry, so they know how to prepare the food, and they've got absolutely excellent food. So, yeah, there is, in a sense, people can come down and get a sampling of all the different restaurants in one location. When the event was over and the plate's almost empty, it seems this event takes the cake from previous ones raising a total just shy of $3,800. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.